is a Hall of Fame in Cleveland where the music pours out, celebrating many of the greats who kept the public in a musical groove. Now, this Hall of Fame may not get quite the fanfare the Rock Hall does, but the musicians who are honored in it have certainly shaped their brand of music. It's today's My Ohio, and here's Leon Bibb. Let me tell you, I like music, all kinds of music, and at the Cleveland-style Polka Hall of Fame, polka is celebrated. As an expert said it, it's always happy music. Once the seat of government in Euclid, Ohio, the old city hall now pulsates with music. A hall of fame where are engraved some of the biggest names in a genre of a music. The Polka Hall of Fame pushes polka, celebrating its sound. Music universally described as happy. It's based on the Slovenian folk melodies and rhythms that were brought to this country a century ago. Joe Valencic is president of the Polka Hall of Fame. Established in 1987, he has long studied this music which came to America, immigrating with Eastern Europeans. Cleveland was a major destination. When the music arrived, it evolved into a distinctive Cleveland sound, which was named Cleveland style polka. Americanized with a banjo and a drum set and some uh, influences from, say, jazz, country music, Broadway musicals. Polka became more mainstream in the 40s and 50s. Returning World War II American servicemen relished the music, which was happy. The war was over and a peacetime life could pick up again. America wanted more music, polka included. It's hard for us to imagine today that Frank Yankovic, America's polka king, had two gold records 15 years before Frank Sinatra had his first. And that's how popular he was. Put together a couple of polka historians and they will reminisce of lyrics and bands. Neither Valencic nor radio disc jockey Tony Petkosic play polka, but they have say about polka over a stack of vinyl albums. And a banjo player that became symbolic, you know, the banjo itself for Cleveland style, American Slovenian polka music. Here we go, Frankie Yankovic, all the time main polkas. The main uh, and also a pioneer for polka television. For 52 years, Pet Kosick has broadcast polka on his radio show. Music from the heart, sweetened by culture, bolstered even more by its growth in Cleveland. And what it has contributed musically, and um, the history of it going back to the heyday when these were the major hits of the day before rock and roll. The Polka Hall of Fame pays special tribute to many of the great ones, displaying their accordions. Toe-tapping melodies were pushed from these instruments, now housed in this prized polka place. This is like having Elvis Presley's first guitar, John Lennon's first guitar. I mean, it's uh, this is uh, the, the accordion that started everything. This is an accordion. It is key to all polka music. <laughs> I'll not play, but... You get the idea. But what I can tell you is, at one time, Cleveland was home to six manufacturers of the accordion. In many ways, Cleveland was a polka capital. So me, me, me? A Cleveland story, it's an American story. Uh, it's about uh, uh, coming to uh, America and finding your musical voice and creating a different one. It is a music which began in the mid-19th century of Eastern Europe. In America, polka found even more of a footing. Polka was always dance music, a happy music, even romantic at times. Perhaps to uh, find the love of your life while dancing to the Blue Skirt Waltz, or just because. Uh, there were a lot of taverns that had uh, polka music, and I actually met my husband at a polka dance at mm -hmm. a Slovenian hall. <laughs> The Cleveland-style Polka Hall of Fame in the old Euclid City Hall celebrates a strong music from fertile soil of Eastern Europe, further cultivated after its Atlantic crossing to America. Old, but still young, as the younger generation keeps up Polka's beat, adding newer rhythms and approaches. Polka has long been popular. Why? Well, title of a well-known polka says it all. Just because.
And that song, Just Because, was first recorded by Cleveland's Frankie Yankovic. So big was that hit, it hit platinum status. At the Cleveland-style Polka Hall of Fame, Yankovic and hundreds of others are celebrated, as is their music. I'm here to tell their stories, Just Because. I'm live on 5 <laughs> and Leon Bibb.